Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the brand new EVH Wolfgang Stripe Series guitars. Some of you guys knew it was coming, and you like me, you have been waiting for months, and some of you guys may not know it was out there at all, and I'm sure you're excited now. All right, so let's talk about uh, what it is and what it isn't, and uh, we'll go through it real fast. So this is the EVH uh, Wolfgang Stripe Series uh, Special, and what it is is it's a made in Mexico guitar, just like the other specials, and it has a couple upgrades. Now, it is one of the most obvious upgrades is it has a custom painted body. Now, this is paint. And oh, I'm going to put right here, so here's some pictures. I asked EVH to actually send me pictures of the guitars being painted because they're so meticulously done that it was hard to believe this is actually paint and not some kind of decal finish or air, or, uh, stencil. They are, they are done by hand. You can look at all the pictures. They are done with a white base coat, then striped in black, and then the red goes on top of that. It's an extensively lengthy process, and it's done very, very well. Mine has a little bit of overspray of the white underneath the tremolo, and I really dig that because, believe it or not, I, that makes me go wow this really was painted and i know that sounds silly that i keep hammering on that but this guitar fetches sixteen hundred dollars so for sixteen hundred dollars i want it to be painted a lot of the artist guitars now that are out there are fetching two thousand twenty five hundred dollars and they have graphic decals on them and you know that's not what you want to see you want to see something that's more like what the artist would have this is painted like that. Okay, ebony fretboard, which is a cool feature. I like it. If you remember a couple years ago, they did this model limited run with maple and a matching painted headstock. Those instantly went for double what they were for oh, new. You won't see that with this model because this is not a limited run. This is a production model for 2017. Cortison maple neck. Cortison means that basically you can tell because the wood has like it looks pixelated like the uh, you know army BDUs, and the uh, what that means is they cut the the, the maple in quarters like a pizza. They cut it an angle and it gives the grain a uh, better stability because it's in the right direction. That's a fast way to explain it. It's a better way to cut a piece of wood. However, you get less wood out of the cut, so it drives the cost a little bit. The other cool feature on it was they did the zero friction uh, volume knob. In other words, it feels like nothing like air, but heavy friction tone control. So what happens is you can kind of set that and forget it. Comes with the Wolfgang pickups and the EVH Floyd Rose bridge with the D-Tuna. So you can drop your E to a D and then back again. Something about this guitar, I don't know if it's all these models or this one, but they're weird because the Wolfgangs are usually upside down. In other words, down switch is the neck pickup and up the switch is the bridge, opposite of whatever else you're used to with the three-way switch. This guitar is back to normal again. In other words, down is the bridge and up is the neck. I don't know if it's just this one or if this series is gonna be like that or if they've switched again, I don't know. So something to take note. If you get one and yours is different than what I just said, put that in the notes so we know that they're out there a little differently. A couple negatives, I'll get those out of the way. Mine had some buffing compound left on it. I thought it was like paint or something, but I was able to buff it off with a polish cloth. Uh, just with my hand, no big worries there. It was right there. Um, but I do have a little bit of fret sprout. The frets are sp sticking out a little bit. came out of the box like that. Um, if you're buying it online or if you're buying it from a local retailer, I would ask them to check it and make sure they polish those ends for you. For that kind of price, the guitar should be perfect. Um, other than that, I have no really other critiques. Those were the only two issues I came across on it. And I just can't get over how good it looks. It's a really good looking guitar. Now let's talk about sound. Sound is fantastic. <laughs> So this has a basswood body, and um, which makes it really nice and light, and it has a huge sound. Those Wolfgang pickups just really come through, and I think that ebony fretboard helps those notes have a faster attack. <laughs> So 
So other than that, it's a pretty straightforward guitar. I recommend you highly check them out. I, I really like them. And um, we'll show you some close-up pictures. <laughs> Thank you for checking out this guitar with me today. I'm very excited about it. It's a really good addition to the EVH lineup. To point out again for the month of October that if you want to buy one of the I Know Your Gear t-shirts down below, they come in black or two versions of pink and uh, half of the profits will be given to Susan G. Komen to show our support. And if you take a picture of yourself and send it to me in the pink shirt, I will donate the other half of the profits uh, of your purchase uh, to show our support again. And uh, as always, thank you for your time and know your gear. Thank <laughs> you.